What's up, YouTube? What's up, y'all? I know it's late, but this been on my mind most of the night. I mean, this been the hottest tea for me for today. <laughs> we got to talk about this. We got to talk about this. Tonight's content. Asian Doll, Meg, and JT. When I tell you it's so much to grasp on, like you're getting information from here, here, a little bit there, but most up here with, with, with Asian Doll and, and, and JT. And then Meg come in later, you know, you know, they all allegedly just basically going to war. They going to war, but they going to war on social media. Going to war on social media. I'm going to get to that in just a moment. Number one, I want to speak on this. And I want to get this out there. Asian Doll, JT, and Meg the Stallion. And I'm going to add on Young Miami. Just because she's with JT. And, you know, she had put her little scent in there, you know, defending for her best, defending for her friend. As you should. You know what I'm saying? If that's your friend, you know what I'm saying? You, you're going to always look out, regardless, no matter what's going down. I get that. I get that part. But all y'all beautiful. All of y'all. Ain't nobody ugly. With makeup or without makeup. Yeah, y'all showing mug shots from back in the day and, you know, years ago, 5, 10, whatever, years ago. Okay. You know, people, you know, either look the same or they look a little different. Because, you know, you know, you you're younger, so you know you're not really. Your looks haven't in, ha, hadn't in, in, in maybe enhanced. You know, it's a lot of people that looks um, enhance a little bit more than others or faster, and ain't nothing wrong with that because I didn't always look the best. You know what I'm saying? In my early childhoods, you know, I kind of like grew up out of my looks. I'm just one of them ones that just grew out of my looks. I felt like. Um, you know, so everybody just kind of like, how should I say, enhances their looks different as they get older. Everybody. Nobody's the same. So that's what I want to say about that. But all of y'all are beautiful in y'all own way. And y'all just beautiful, period, shall I say. Um, ain't nobody ugly. And I'm talking about from 10 five ten years ago i seen the pictures online they online but ain't nobody ugly it's just you grow out of your looks as time go on or, or some people don't and they just stay the same all you know all their life because you know that's just what it is different genes that, that that that's just pretty much how that go but none of y'all is ugly all of y'all are pretty all of y'all are beautiful let me just throw that out there now i'm gonna take that and throw that aside because I didn't already got that out. What I'm about to talk about is the actual situation. Allegedly, Meg and Asian Doll was supposed to come out with a song. I heard a little bit of it, but I couldn't find the actual song. I wanted to hear the full song. I might have to go back and look and try to see if I can find it, but I actually did want to hear the full song if they already recorded it, but just didn't, you know, bring it out you know you can still record the song even though you may have whatever took somebody off or whatever like that you still can record the whole song or whatever so i didn't get a chance to actually listen to the full song but i listened to bits and pieces and it seemed like if i was listening to the right song if they already recorded it it was going to be a all right song i'm not for sure but i did hear asian doll and mid the stallion and then i heard like a fast beat like i said i only heard bits and pieces if they uh recorded the song but it did the song the, the parts that i listened to it didn't sound like it was going to be a bad song but supposedly um allegedly meg had took asian doll 
off the record, off the song. Pause. Okay, she took her off the song. Why? Nobody really knows. I, I'm going to say I don't know. Personally, I don't know. But for her to take her off that song, I believe right there, that's what triggered everything. Um, I don't know what went down with that part, but allegedly Meg did take Asian Doll off the track. Um, why? The question why is, you know, everybody want to know the reason. I don't know the reason, but it's just like, you know, I thought y'all was cool, you know, like, and, that, and I'm pretty sure that would have been a pretty good song. Um, once they to go ahead and put it out. Um, but I think that's what triggered everything. And again, why she took her off the song. Who knows? Um, but pause on her. Getting the JT and Asian doll. How that's occurring and how that's elevating online. Number one, it shouldn't be none of that. It shouldn't be none of that back and forth stuff on social media. Behind closed doors, address that. Get that straight behind closed doors. All of y'all in y'all own way can, you know, do y'all thing in rapping. I don't understand what's the issue. I am thinking about why Meg took Asian Doll off the song. I am thinking about that. But then I'm still thinking about why JT and Asian Doll, why is y'all going back and forth like that? If y'all don't want to be, okay, right now, y'all don't see eye to eye. That's understandable. Stay distance from each other. Or, or, or you can try to handle it behind closed doors like grown women. I understand um, Asian Doll, is, uh, you upset? You feeling some kind of way? You feeling like, you know, uh, when, you know, women ain't being real. I'm going to say women. Women ain't being real in, this, in, in certain um, scenarios. I see your point of view, but I still feel like it should be handled behind closed doors. Y'all get it straight and, and figure out what's really going on. And then if y'all decide y'all don't want to fool with each other no more, or not deal with each other, if y'all decide that, then that's fine. That's fine. Let it be that way. Let it fly that way. But all of that on social media, it's crazy. That's all I'm going to say. It's crazy. Like, I was looking at it like, what the hell? Like, they going in. But do I want y'all to like, pull up on each other and fight. No, I don't want that. Y'all too, y'all are all successful um, artists trying to go out there and make y'all money and, and, and live y'all life. Why would, you, why would any of y'all want to put yourself in that situation? No, I don't want you and um, JT to fight. Do I want y'all to talk about it like women behind closed doors and handle it? Yeah. And if, like I said, y'all don't you know, want to fool with each other after that, then fine. Go y'all separate way. But getting back, I'm going to hop back on Meg with that song, Why She Took Asian Doll Off. I don't know. But I honestly believe in my mind and my thoughts, that's what triggered everything. That's what triggered it. And then... I don't know. It just led to like a war. It was like a straight war on Twitter. Straight war on social media. Like, it was a war. <laughs> I just was like, oh my goodness. Let me wait till this whole thing calm down and then, and then get my thoughts. <laughs> Cause, because it's just, it's crazy. Um, another thing I want to shoot out there to Young Miami. I'm going to say this. I respect this one thing about Young Miami. One thing that I noticed about her. I've seen certain comments. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people saying, oh, she can't rap. She, You know, she she, she ain't on the beat. 
And I ain't gonna lie, when, when City Girls first came out and I first heard her, I was like, I don't know, it's something about her voice I can't, I can't, I can't grasp to it. It was just something about it. I did say that at the beginning, but then as time went on and y'all came out with other songs, it was like, okay, I kind of grew on your voice. I did. I just kind of grew on it, and you know, it, it, it's good. Um, even though a lot of people have said what they say, you can't rap, or you need to stop rapping. One thing I respect about you, young Miami, you ain't, you don't care what nobody say. You still gonna do what you want to do, meaning you still want to rap. Um, and that's what you're going to do regardless of what anybody say. Um, I respect that part. You know, you still going to do what you want to do regardless of what anybody going to say. Whether they say you can't rap or not, you still going to rap because that's what you want to do. So I, I, I respect that. But um, getting back to this Meg, Asian Doll, and JT Feud, this can easily be fixed behind closed doors. Get it straight. Ain't no point of going back and forth on no Twitter. Ain't no point. Because all, all, all y'all doing is going to hype up the internet and it just ain't going to stop. They're going to feed off that. And that's going to hype y'all up to want to keep going back and forth. Handle it behind closed doors and get it straight. Get it straight. Y'all don't want to fool with each other after that, after getting it straight. Fine. Fine. Let it be that way. And go on ahead and move on and work with other artists and do what y'all got to do. Go on ahead and continue to eat. Because y'all ain't got time to be getting into these type of situations and then getting the police involved if they have to get involved because it ain't got out of control. It ain't no point of that. Um, allegedly, if Meg took Asian Doll off that song... Asian Doll and Meg got to handle that behind closed doors. Find out what in the world going on. If Asian Doll don't want to fool with it no more, then let it go. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's obvious Asian Doll see her point of view from Meg after that. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, that's my point of view on how I feel like things should be handled. So it won't be so much war to war going on on social media. But yeah, you guys, don't forget to like this video subscribe comment if y'all want because this right here was crazy i ain't gonna lie it was crazy i'm looking like i'm looking on social media i'm like what the hell like it was an actual war going on female war like one thing i can say about females us females when we get mad <laughs> and we get triggered whoo that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> But guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And um, I hope you guys have a good um, Christmas holiday. And enjoy with uh, family and friends and eat good food. And Merry Christmas. If I don't get to make another video up to then, but I'm going to try to. But if I don't, still Merry Christmas to all of you. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.